Warning! If you're sensitive to flashing lights or have epilepsy, please don't watch this let's play. This is your final warning. Greetings everyone, my name is Atterville, and I welcome you all to my blind let's play of Super Cable Boy, a 2D retro glitched style platformer developed and published by Swarb Games. For full disclosure, I received a key from the developer in order to LP their game. Where am I? It's dark. And weird. Here's our protagonist, a living Game Boy. And as this is a blindless play, I apologize in advance for any silly mistakes or false assertions I'll make. Is there something here? There is. Let's take a look. I have wall jumping. Oh neat, on agree. And whatever this thing is. An alternate exit. I'll explore Ram Zero soon enough. But you are just talking with me right now. So left analog stick to move around, A to jump, and right analog stick to pan the camera. SL0. I'm gonna be on the lookout for these secrets. The secret exits and the onigiris. I don't have the ability to throw my cable around yet, or multi-jump or dash. I don't trust any of you. That must mean there's a secret back there. Yep, instant death. Who didn't expect that? No one? My toss exactly. Was there an no degree here? Yeah, there was. But where? Dying and respawning is pretty fast. Wait, 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 wait. I see it. I need the correct momentum. As I was saying, dying and respawning this game is pretty fast. That's a good thing seeing how this is a fast-paced platformer.
I always do that just to ensure that they aren't hints. Colonel Panic, is this the first boss encounter? What's going on? Oh goody, this digital world is collapsing in on itself. Trippy. A reminder that if you're sensitive to flashing lights, please stop watching. There will be more of these in the future. It was all just a dream. Or was it? World 1 complete. Sleep mode. Random access memory. And the Tower of Hanoi. Let's do random access memory. Probably Jaden. Those are the extra collectibles of the game. I don't know how to get past here. I'm very likely missing some of the required abilities. I'll return there in the future. The assembly is to the right. Once again, I need a different upgrade to access that. Same with this one, I need double jumping. Or being able to swing my cable upwards. I like this game's Game Boy aesthetic. I'll try obtaining as many of the Oniguris as possible. This won't be a 100% let's play, however, there will surely be some stuff that will be too hard for me to complete. That's odd. Did I miss a secret exit there? I already know that hidden worlds exist in this game.
Movement is very responsive. It reminds me of Meat Boy. And none of the levels are too long either. Wait, 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 is there something here? Nope, just part of the end of the previous level. So far, nothing too challenging. Unlike Moon Raider, however, this has a solid difficulty curve. New stuff is gradually being added in. That must be a shortcut. Definitely a shortcut, if I was a more skilled player. Hmm... Yep, I'll have to return back here too. I can already see which audiences this game is catering towards. And there's the assembly. And more stuff ahead, too. That's the final area. Surely there's something higher, too, but I can't see it yet. Very likely a hidden world. Again, that looked really fishy to me. Who didn't expect the developer to hide something here? They pulled off this trick once. I expect them to do the same thing several times more. Ah, adorable. I like all the emoticons. There's the exit. Rats. The corruption spawns in like this now. Ah, uh, he even says Onigiri. Always gotta be sure. I played several of these games before, and they tend to be sneaky when hiding stuff. Case in point. Wait, I wanna investigate that side. I'll come back to this in the future. Whenever a game has these sorts of secret worlds and collectibles, I tend to get extra paranoid.
Ah. I kind of a bit too close there. Wait, 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 wait. There are two of them. I keep missing that. I'll give it one more go, then I'll come back here later. Surely I should be able to make the jump. Yeah, like so. Don't worry, this will be edited down in post. Yikes. I was too distracted and I fell off the cloud. That is gonna be a problem. How did I do it on my first attempt? No, seriously. I thought I was going to clip onto the right one. Mr. Sui Hanky. I am probably butchering his name. Is this where we can spend our Oniguri? My next question is, is this all a dream as well? Was Cable Boy dreaming a dream within a dream?
Nice reference. He is a walking, talking game boy. His name is probably a pun too. Are you sure about that? That's suspiciously specific denial. Cable cart. Is this where we require first upgrade? Looks like it. So now I have the ability to throw my cable around. Aha, so that's how I can get some of the other Onigri. Remember back here? I assume I need to get used to the inertia, that's it. This opens up a whole new realm of possibilities. And at the same time, new challenges. What else am I missing? That's what I should have done earlier. No, 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 I don't want that. T fives don't agree. I see where Don't Agree is now. It's an alternate exit, as I initially thought it was. That's concerning. This must lead over to the Corrupted Cloud or something. Um, no thank you then. I don't want to deal with you now. Stack Overflow. Does each and every one of these main worlds lead into a secret world? I could have accessed this from the very beginning. Now I feel kind of embarrassed. Anyways, I got all the rice balls here. 
There is one Onigiri missing here. It is a temple after all. That's all the collectibles for the cloud. So, in the next episode, I'll begin my foray into the assembly, and also be on the lookout for more secret worlds. Well then, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.